how to get the fight to the ground. All right, jujitsu while standing up is fairly useless. Once we get it into our world down here, we are really effective at fighting without even hitting anybody. But we have to get our partner down to the ground and all fights or altercations or any matches start standing up. All right, so we're gonna have to work on this. Now what we're gonna do whenever we're in a real fight is we have to watch out for punches. I never wanna be this close to my partner. My partner can hit me anytime he wants. Anytime I'm fighting somebody, I always wanna start out of their arm's reach. If he can swing as hard as he wants, I'm not gonna touch me, I stay safe. Now, whenever I enter this bubble, I like to call it his bubble. This is his zone of where he can hurt me, his bubble, right? Anytime I enter his bubble, I have my helmet on. Just like when you ride a bike, everybody put your helmet on. I like to call this a shell. Coach Scott likes to call it his meat helmet, all right? Covering right here. Now, look, not wide, because then he can hit my face. I want covering here, but I can see right through the crack. My goal is almost like a wave crashing in. I'm gonna sit here, move back and forth, I'm gonna wait till I find a lull in his punches, and then I get so close to him that he can't hit me. If I'm this far away, he can hit me. So I'm safe here, and I'm safe here. This is where I wanna be. Now if I come in really low, the only job I have left, grab super tight around his body. If I come in super high, this is bad. Look, if I grab around his head, he's gonna slip out, he's gonna grab me back, this is bad. Anytime I come in on my partner, with bent legs. That way I can be really athletic, really fast, and really strong. So I'm here waiting, waiting. Huh. Grab. This is my clinch. Right here, I'm too close to hurt. I have good control over my partner. This is all we're practicing. Getting in, grabbing our clinch. This is it for now. We're going to expand on this in a minute. So each partner is going to go here. Watch how he swings his arms. Nice and slow. I'm trying to time it, time it. Huh. Huh. Good. I do the same for him. He's safe. Look, I can't hurt him. Once he's in here, I'm at his mercy. Everybody can do this? So remember, before we approach anybody's bubble, we cover our head. Then we move in, grab our partner. Remember, once your hands clock in, they're done. Don't fidget. Don't try and figure out your fingers. Grab, squeeze, done. Everybody ready? Clap on three. One, two. Let's go. So everybody looks great entering the clinch. Entering the clinch is really one of the hardest parts. Be having the courage to getting inside his bubble. Out here I'm safe. I have to have a lot of courage to get into his bubble where he can't hurt me. So that's why we practice putting our helmet on and trying to get really good at timing so that we can time without getting hit, crashing all the way in and getting to this strong spot. Now once we're in here, all right, today's takedown is super simple. We're gonna do a little bit of a back trip. So what my plan is, is whenever I get into a clinch, I kind of wanna make a circle. I wanna rest right underneath his armpit. So I get right in here and I'm gonna circle right off to the side. So I want the side of my head right here. See how I can use my head to scoop him backwards? This is gonna be my plan. So my hands are here, I squeeze him super tight till his waist is touching me. Now watch what I do with my head. Dip it backwards, see him go here? Now I can take him down just like this. I'm just gonna keep making a circle, keep squeezing, my partner will go down. Another thing you can do, if your partner's a little bit bigger, uh, Mason, hop a seat, sit down sir, so we can watch. Perfect. All right, so we enter in, partner swinging, we get inside, I'm in front of my partner. I wanna get a little bit more on the side. So look, just walk your feet around, Mason, Mason, I need you to sit down, sir. Samuel, thank you. Now, look, I'm in front of my partner. I want to move around to the side. Look, just move my feet. Now that I'm on the side of him, I can tip him backwards. Now, if you're small, this is one trick to help you. This leg, see how my leg's behind him too? When I'm pushing him backwards, somebody strong might be able to fight me. He's going to stay standing really strong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bump him with my knee. Boom. Then bring him down, nice and easy. So, we're in here. Partner's giving us a windmill, staying safe. Crush in, I'm in front of him. Scoot a little bit more to the side, almost like I'm trying to get under his arm. Keep my face on his chest. All I can do, squeeze and bend backwards. If I'm having any trouble, this knee behind his leg, I'm just gonna bump his leg, boom. Finish taking him down. I want you to step over, all the way to mount all the way to airplane. 
Let's see it one more time. This side, this time. Here, nice and close. Crash in, grab. All right, scoot around to the side. Right here, contact. If your head's not touching them, you're not close enough. All the way in here. Bend them backwards over your arm. You can bump them with this leg, boom. Down, step over, we're in control. We got into the clinch, we took our partner down. We're not gonna get touched, we're not gonna get hurt. Nothing bad, we're in control from that moment on. Tap on three, one, two.